Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and today we got a doozy of a video because we are going to be building a brand new mining vehicle. Because uh, this thing right here, it works, but I don't like I don't like what happens when we mine. Like the rocks end up falling on the ground, and then it's quicker to hammer the rocks than it is to use the drills. So I want to try to create a mining machine that is much more efficient uh and doesn't require using my hammer as much so i don't know i have some ideas i don't know how this is going to go and this is going to be a lot more complicated than anything i've done in survival so far and we're going to need a lot more parts than anything i've done in survival so far as you can see i'm in the process of crafting a bunch of drills because i i plan on using i think maybe 18 18 drills and I also plan on using some pistons and things like that. And I did a lot of mining off camera and just harvesting of various things. So I have I have a lot of like parts and stuff, fortunately. But let's go ahead and just craft some more things. So a couple of small updates on what's new around the shop since uh, you guys have last seen it. Um, oh, we got some glow poo around here. We have a new glow bug and i gave him this area we're gonna probably bring some more glow bugs in here and i gave him all the cardboard i had which is like 200 so he's just kind of he's just kind of prancing around here eating cardboard just being happy he's gonna get real fat and hopefully give us a lot of glow uh because we need glow to make bombs and i think eventually we're gonna need bombs to get into the encryptor areas of the warehouse which are not working yet but when they work i want to be prepared also, at the advice of the comments, I have taken a stack of every single one of my seeds. So we got broccoli, pineapple, banana, beads, tomato, potato, orange, carrot, and blueberry. We have a stack of 20 of all these seeds. So if we get attacked by an overwhelming raid like we did in the last episode with the three bosses all at once and they happen to destroy our seed chest back there, then we have a backup to start fresh and uh, get all of our crops built back up. So if you guys missed the last episode where we had the most intense raid I think we could ever have, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna go check that out and come back here after that so you're updated. Cause that was, I'm still in shock at what happened and I'm still in shock that we managed to survive to be honest. All right, so I have a weld tool on me and I think I'm gonna use this because what I wanna do is I wanna build our mining vehicle, but I'm gonna build the mining mechanism separate from the vehicle first, just on its own, and then we're just gonna weld it onto the vehicle. So I need some building materials and we need something that is, uh, how light is wood? Wood is two weight, okay, that's really good. I think we're gonna build it out of wood because we want something light. So one of the reasons I want this mining machine to be a lot more efficient is because I want to be able to really start stocking up on metal so that we can, uh, we, I want to start building an actual fortified defensive base. I want crushers. I want saw blades. I have plans on how to make this thing much more defensible rather than me just with my spud gun all the time. So we need a mining vehicle so we can get those materials as quick as possible. And of course, I'm probably gonna waste like four days building this mining vehicle that I could have spent mining. But uh, yeah, we're starting with a brand new vehicle. I'm not even gonna use this. This is now gonna be my packaging vehicle. Let's start, I'm just gonna start building in the middle of the warehouse, I guess. So here's what I'm thinking about the kind of mechanism that I have in my mind that I'm gonna try to put into reality in here. The issue that I keep having when I'm mining head on with stuff is that I end up getting pushed off to the side, pushed off in either direction, and just, it feels like my vehicle is getting deflected away from the rocks. So rather than having it be a flat wall of drills, I'm actually going to have it be like a, a folded wall of drills. So it's going to be two walls that are angled like this. But then we have the issue of once we break down the main rocks into the smaller pieces, they fall to the ground. And when you try to drill them, you end up just pushing them around on the ground and it's hard to get a good contact on them. So I think a crushing drill would be really, really good for that. So you, you actually push them against the ground rather than pushing them against nothing. So I'm gonna have this be like a book that we have a wall and then it folds in and that way we can drive into the rocks. And then once we've grinded the rock down into all its smaller components, it'll fold back out, lift up, turn down and then crush the rocks on the ground. That is the vision that I have in my mind. And now I'm gonna try to make that a reality. But I need a few drills on me, so I might as well just start off with these ones here. 
Also, I think I'm gonna need some suspension as well. I think suspension on your drills really helps out a lot. So I'm just gonna craft a whole bunch of suspension because I can afford it. I'm rich. Oh, we are definitely gonna need controllers too. Totally forgot about controllers. Okay, so the first thing I need to figure out is how wide apart do these drills need to be so that when this folds in at like a 30 or 45 degree angle, so that these drills aren't gonna have that, aren't gonna collide with each other, but they're also not gonna have that much of a gap. I think that this is okay right now. I have a controller on me actually. Let's go ahead and put some bearings right here. And I am building this out of wood because I want it to be relatively light. So then this is going to be the first layer. And let's go ahead and hook this controller up to these two. It can only have two in the first place. And we're gonna put drill there and drill there. And now let's just say we want these to be like 30 degrees. All right, I think they can actually be moved in closer then. Yeah, so if we have our first layer of drills like this at 30 degrees, yeah, that's looking good and even like, how is 45 degrees going? Yeah, so they're not going to really touch each other. I think that's going to work great. So then what's going to happen is, um, building out from here, we're going to have three layers of drills. Do I have more drills on me? Yes, I do. So we're going to have, like, another drill there, and then, like, another drill right there. And then that's going to be it. And then we're going to have three by three. So nine drills on each side. That's going to be an 18 drill thing. So that's just the first level of it. We also needed to be able to go up and fold down flat. And I've also been building myself a bunch of concrete because I need really, really heavy blocks to hold down the back of this because we have to hold up all of this weight of these drills. So this is going to be, there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of physics at play here. All right, so now I'm working on the mechanism that's going to rotate it downwards. And I think I can delete that now. Yeah, so now this is going to be able to rotate downwards. Oh, I didn't want to do that just yet, actually. All right, we're putting the other controller right there. This is the controller that's actually going to hook up. Ow! <laughs> this is the controller that's going to hook up to that right there. And if I upgrade this, which I don't have any upgrade stuff on me. There we go. We'll upgrade this one so we can have a little bit of extra power by hooking up to both of these bearings. So now this will be rotating 90 degrees down. All right, so now I'll have these independently controlled with their own button. So these are going to be, did I say 45 degrees? I think I said 45 degrees. All right, so they're not the fastest because they're low level controllers, but I don't think we need those to be fast as far as switching directions. But now we can flatten them. We can angle them in. All right, so now let's uh, let's apply the actual mechanisms. Okay, that is close to there, but I think that's still tolerable. Like, is that is that like a collision? I don't think that's a collision. It might be different once we start spinning them. We'll have to see. If we start if it if it's an issue when we start spinning them, I think worst case scenario is we just uh, we put them on thirty degrees because thirty degrees will look like that and yeah that doesn't look like it's having any collision issues all right everything's been finished crafting oh that's right i wanted to put suspension on them too so we need all of the suspension that we just made we need all the drills that we just made where'd all the suspension go there we go oh man look at all these drills we have so i don't even have enough room in my inventory for all this stuff oh uh, i can't add suspension to this <laughs> now they're too close now they're definitely too close okay this is fine though we just gotta move these parts out a little bit more oh man i didn't think about that Stupid. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is even better now, because now it is a lot more clear from this middle post here, which I'm gonna be having my lights on, by the way. Actually, do I have some lights? I need to make lights. Yeah, looks like we have plenty for lights. Let's just make a whole bunch of lights. Can never have too many lights. Actually, you can. You can totally overblow things. All right, so we've got our first row, and I'm planning on having three rows vertically of this. So let's go ahead and test out how it's going to look. So here, oh, this is... Uh, is that an issue? Do I need to put one, like, right here? I might need to do that, but then if I press the button to have them come back in, is that gonna be a collision? It will be at 45 degrees. I kind of like 45 degrees, though. I might need to move these. All right, well, anyway, when this is open like this, and then we go to turn it down... Oh... I did something very wrong here. Wait, what? 
Oh no, that's why I moved this over and I moved it just past the rotation point. Oh man. All right, so I moved it so it should work now. Once it is out straight like this, then we press this and it should turn straight down. And I think that's fine right there because uh, we're going to be having this be, I think, a little bit higher. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work quite yet. Okay, so now this whole thing is going to have to be on a piston that raises it up and down. Do I have pistons on me yet? I don't. Somewhere over here. There we go. Here, we got some pistons here. Put the piston right there. This is where we're going to be controlling it from then. And you know what? I just maxed it out. We're going to try with one piston so far. All right. So I think... I think that's kind of all we need. Now I just gotta actually make the wall and then build the vehicle that can hold all these resource containers and sustain the weight of this thing up in front. All right, so now this is what we're looking at. We can go up, oh no, oh no. Um, and then we can, where's the, where's the button? This one, no, not that one. And that button makes it face down. Yeah, I definitely, I need the middle. The middle is uh, an open area, so I, I need to do something about the middle. And it'll come down onto everything. So now it's time to build up and make this thing the drill machine I had been dreaming of for like weeks now. Oh no, this thing looks heavy now. Look at the flex on that piston. Uh oh, that worries me a little bit. But look at this, this thing is going to be insane. We just have this gap here. How do we get rid of, how do we fill in this gap is the issue. I got an idea. I got an interesting idea, actually. I need three more drills. Man, I think I may have been a little bit too ambitious with this. I think it might be too heavy, but we're gonna find out when we get there. So I have to move this now, unfortunately. Oh, and of course it's gonna fall down. All right, guys, so I had an idea and now I, I'm worried about it because one of the things I don't know and I'm I don't want to take the risk is I don't know if drills can damage your own vehicle because what I wanted to do was have this kind of like a uh, weaved system here. There would be drills in the center like this. Imagine if there was three of them like that. So then when this thing is facing down towards the ground, it would all be filled in without any gaps. But then when it folds in, those ones was, would just be out of the way because they would just come out to the side like this. But the problem is you can see that there's a little bit of a collision and I'm afraid that it's going to like hit those blocks and then destroy them. I don't see why that wouldn't happen unless the drills just don't damage blocks and they only damage bots and stone but they also damage your character. So I'm just going to assume that they would damage blocks and play it safe and try to, I have to figure out something else now, unfortunately. All right, I think I got it working the way it's intended. And I'm just, I'm really worried about this piston is bearing so much weight that it's a little bit floppy. But anyway, when I press this button, it's gonna fold in and then these three are going to move out of the way. So check it out. So there, I don't think we'll have any issues except for this. You know what? I'm gonna test it right now. We might accidentally destroy something here, but I just gotta see. Oh, it needs fuel. <laughs> Duh. All right, here we go. Please don't destroy my creation. It's grinding. It is grinding. Uh. Okay, let's go faster. I don't like that. It's just the bottom one that's the issue though. All right, you know what? Let's just assume that everything's gonna be fine. And I uh, I think that this is pretty much okay. So then we, oh, oh, it's hitting the ceiling. All right, and then this I think turns it down. Oh boy. We can widen it like that. Look at that, how they come down. And we have a whole wall. And then we could bring this down onto the ground. Oh, that could definitely not go that fast. There we go. Okay, and then how easy is it for it to use the controller to come back up? Okay, it can handle the weight. The controller can handle the weight. So now we need a vehicle to put this thing on and how heavy is this going to be? Are we even gonna be able to handle this? Um, my glow bug just disappeared. I heard it made a, make a noise and it's gone. I literally, I just went over here, collected some glow poop. 
and then I, I put him on top of the cardboard, and now he's gone. I think, I think he ate himself into oblivion. <laughs> okay, we need another glow bug. All right, let's do a quick test of the base frame of the vehicle. Everything seems to be working fine. We got four wheel of steering because we're going to need that maneuverability. Uh, all the way in the back with the concrete. So now we're going to attach this thing. And I don't know how many... I'm going to have to have at least a couple of level five engines to be able to attach to these things. So I should just be able to weld this right into here. Oh, no. Uh, oh, it's a little... Uh, it's a little saggy, isn't it? Just a little bit saggy. All right, so now what do we want the order of buttons to be? All right, I feel like button number one is going to be to open and close it. What does this button do? Oh, yeah. I guess, uh, oh, max connection is reached. I have to upgrade my seat. All right, is this going to be enough? There we go. There we go. All right, so now from the seat, we can do that. We can, uh-oh. Do we have a suspension glitch happening? No? no? Everything seems okay. Oh man, look how floppy it is. That might not be good. That floppiness... That floppiness might really not be good. Yeah, I have an idea. I have an idea. Alright, so now what I think I can do for some more stability is... Is make this kind of like triangular. As far as the piston uh, going up and down. So watch. We put a piston there. We put a piston there. What's the speed? Speed 2, length 15. We make sure that these pistons are the same as the other piston. And then this is going to provide some back support to the whole system and hopefully prevent it from flopping around as much. Let's see how this feels. All right, and then we press number three to go. Oh, and then I got to hook up the switch into all three of those. All right, and we press number three to go up. Look at that, that is so much more stable. And then it can still go down, so much less floppy. That worked really, really well. Look at this, so much better. Oh, instant improvement. You gotta love it when something just instantly improves like that. All right, oh, let's not destroy our other vehicle, which is right, oh, I have no room. This vehicle is so big, I have like no room. All right, and then we can still do that. Okay, now we have the challenge of how many engines how many level 5 engines do we need to hook up all of these things? Is it- I think it's 10 connections. 19, 20, 21! <laughs> that means we're gonna have like one extra engine that just is for a single one of these. Alright, I need a lot of component kits now. I really hope I have enough. I really hope I have enough to upgrade these. I've been using so many to craft stuff. I don't have that many component kits. Uh-oh. That's a level 5 engine now. It costs so much to upgrade these. Oh, I can't even upgrade one of these to level five. Oh no, I thought I had more than enough materials. Oh, okay, well, how many can we hook up with this one? Okay, good. The switch does not count as a connection, so that is good. But I have to upgrade my seat to attach this switch. <gasps> how many components do we need? I need only two to upgrade this. That's good. Do I really only have one component kit left? All right, well, it looks like we're going to have to go out on a scavenger run and get some component kits. So I guess I'm going to do that. Ah, ah, there's a bus. There's a bus. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill it. Does the bus drop component kits? I don't even know. But first, let me take out this guy here. All right. Um, oh, I didn't build any. Or, oh, here we go. All right, we got a little bit of concrete. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna do, oh, he's on an inconvenient angle. I can't build on this angle. All right, let's go over here. Hope he doesn't see me yet. All right, we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. I didn't check how much ammo I had. Okay, here he comes. The wall should tank a hit. <gasps> I'm out of ammo. I'm so stupid. So stupid. Okay, I brought some with me. He's just attacking my wall. He's stuck on the wall. Yes. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Uh, almost made a mistake there. Warehouse key. Yes, two component kits. Okay, worth it. That's exactly what I wanted. Two component kits. 
Man, he was really distracted by my wall. Okay. How are we doing on spuds? All right, I got 150 on me. Should be plenty. All right, spuddling gun, great for bosses. Excellent for bosses. I love it. Like one boss? <laughs> Just one boss out in the wild? <laughs> Does this game know I dealt with three bosses at the same time at my farm while being out of ammo? Where's the challenge, huh? Look at this. I haven't seen this before. That is awesome. And on top of that, there's one right down there too. Um, do you think I have enough ammo to deal with them? Let me see. Yeah, I have enough ammo to deal with them. Let's put a bunch of ammo on us. Let's get ourselves a boss. Oh, there's one there and there's one there. Oh man, why is there, there must be something valuable in this place other than the burned ember. We're going in, we're going into this place. Like we even got a road going down into it. I've never seen a burned place that was like this. I saw the ones that were like flat and just have like a, a, a ruins in them or something. Oh, does he? Oh, he's coming after me. He's coming after me. He's stuck. He's stuck. That's good. He's not stuck anymore. He is not stuck anymore. Uh, oh, he got me. Oh, there's another one. I'm dead. 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 No. Did he just attack my car? I hope he didn't just attack my car. My car looks good. My car looks good. Come on! Ah, oh, thank you! Oh, that was close. Ow. Oh, that was close. That was really close. There's still another one in there. Did he attack my car? It looks good. It looks good. Okay, where's my, uh, I need, I need this to build walls. Alright, we're going in more. We're going in more. We still got, still got plenty of potatoes. Man, there are burned bosses everywhere in here. Look at this. There's another one up here. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh, oh. No, go after the wall, go after the wall. Ow, 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 ow. No, ow, no, no, come on, come on, come on, go. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Come on, come on. This is crazy. This is crazy. We get three component kits from each one, though. At least, I think, so far. And we need component kits. There's another boss. Look like, look at how many of these there are. There's another one right there. This is a boss farming area. Do I have enough ammo for this? I have 125 more. I think they only take 60. All right, do I have more? This is all the concrete I have. All right, we're doing it again. I can only build a wall this big. All right, here we go. There we go, that worked. These walls, these walls hold them just long enough. This is good. All right, how many component kits? Three component kits. Yeah, we're getting like three component kits a piece. There's another one. How many? I have 12. Oh yeah, they don't take 60 shots with the spuddling gun. They take way more than 60 shots with the spuddling gun because the spuds do less damage. I almost ran out of ammo on that one. That would have been really, really bad. Oh, I almost didn't bring this wall back. I want this wall. All right, at this rate, I'm just gonna end up, oh, I'm gonna use all my ammo here. Okay. Is there something deeper in the middle here though? Like, is there something worth going through all these bosses for? I want to explore it and see what it's all about. There we go. Oh, that's some weird lighting, isn't it? Oh, he's coming after me already? Okay, I got this. There we go. How many did that even use? I have 25 left again. I think this is the last boss that we can kill. Uh, I am out of ammo. Yeah, so I'm just gonna walk up here and hope that there's not another boss, because if there is, I'm gonna have a hard time getting out of here uh, if he sees me and starts coming after me. But I hope this is like where we were going, right? I don't see anything like, of note, other than the fact that there's bosses everywhere. 
Yeah, by the looks of it, that's it. I don't think they're guarding anything. I think this is just a boss tile for whatever reason. That's crazy. How many bosses did I kill? One, two, three, four. I just killed four bosses in here. We got four more warehouse keys. I'm pretty sure I have more warehouse keys now than there are warehouses on my map. But that was definitely good for component kits. Because that means that we got like 12 component kits. I hope that I hope I'm not gonna like run into another boss trying to get out of here. Alright, well that was certainly fun, wasn't it? I don't know if I have enough component kits to head back or not though. But I think I'm gonna start heading back and if I find a place I haven't looted yet, then we'll stop by there. Alright, we made it back. Holy cow, look at this thing. Let's see, how many component kits did I get? One, two, three, four, fifty, sixty, seventy-three component kits. Not a bad run. That took me like two nights to get through that. So here we go. Let's go ahead and upgrade this level five. And now how many do we have left? Forty-nine. What else do we need to upgrade? This no, we already upgraded the seat, didn't we? Or no, we didn't. No, we need to upgrade the seat as well. So here we go. Upgrade the seat. That only takes two. Not bad. Then we can do that. All right, so now we can hook up that one and another one of those. And now we hook this up to everything. And we're gonna have one, one drill that is not gonna be functional through this. All right, so then we can up that one and then we get the middle one. Yep, max connections reached. So what do we do? You know what? The corner ones are the most useless. So I'm actually, I think that this middle one is gonna be more useful, whoops more useful than that corner one. So we're gonna go with that. All right, so now we need to reverse the directions of like half of these. So we're gonna go like that, like that, like that, uh, like that, there, 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 there. So now they're all like rotating like against each other rather than with each other. I think we might be ready to go here. Let's test out real quick. So number one does that. All right, number two, we'll do that. And we'll definitely, anything that's below us when we do this, look at that. Yeah, if we just go down. And number three is going to activate the engines and the engines need to be turned up. How high do we turn up the engines though? So then number four, turns everything on. Everything seems to be working. Here, let's go ahead and put this up. Now let's see what happens if I close this. All right, I don't seem to be hurting myself, so I think we're gonna be okay. All right, now it's time to put it to the test. Let's grab our resource collectors and see what happens. Of course, it's nighttime now, and you know what? I need to I need to really plant some potatoes because I am like out of ammo on my at least on my scouting vehicle. I'm out of ammo. All right, so the good news is I have 47 to spare. 47 component parts to spare. I thought I was gonna need a lot more than that to upgrade everything. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and deposit all my stuff and I'm gonna, it just turned into a new day. So I'm gonna plant a whole crop of potatoes. We'll go out and test this thing during the day and then we'll have a bunch of ammo saved up. Luckily I have a bunch of ammo here too. I could put these warehouse keys back in here. Look at how many warehouse keys. I'm gonna need to make a separate thing just for warehouse keys. Oh, why are my frames so laggy? I'm getting 30 frames on my farm for some reason. Yeah, my vehicle was lagging out my game. Can I not have this vehicle in the world? Did I build a vehicle that's too laggy? It drops my frames, but the problem is I can't delete the vehicle. They did say that they're going to be implementing the ability to save things on your lift, and if you have the materials, you can build it. So that, I think, is what's going to need to happen here, is uh, I, I don't know if I can have this vehicle until they do that, but I still want to go put it to the test. Let's go put it to the test, see if it works. I just want the sun to rise so we can see it working. All right, the sun's up. Let's go do this on our very, very laggy, unfortunately laggy vehicle. I can't even, I, oh, hold on, hold on. I can't even get through here, but I can if I do this. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's hope I can find something nearby. I don't even know where my rock formations are. You know, it probably, I'm thinking about it, it's probably all the suspension. Worst case scenario, I can rebuild this with no suspension on it. That's probably going to be a better idea, but I just want to see how it works the way as is. All right, here we go. Oh man, this, this one's up on a big mound too. I've been here before. I used to be mining here. All right, so this one, hmm. This one might be better just to go top down. 
Here, let's try one of these ones on the side first. These little stragglers that have been knocked off already. All right, first test of the new system. I don't even know if this works well. I spent like so much time building it. All right, ready and on. There we go. All right, so now, now we lift up, we open it up, we turn it down, we turn it on, and then we bring it back down. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, come on, keep it going. And I guess if we just lift this up and down. Look at that. And we go over to this one. There we go. All right, look at that. And then we drive over it and we pick it all up. That's exactly how I wanted this thing to work. All right, look, this one, I can just go straight down on it from here. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah! Yeah! Look at that. That is so good. All right, and then we pick everything up. Okay, so now here we go. This is where, see, I can't get on top of it, which I was expecting to happen. So this is where uh, this part comes in handy. We bring this down. And now I shouldn't get pushed off to either side because I'll be kind of like cradling it like this. All right, and go. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. That seems to be working pretty well. Look at that. And it's so much easier to maintain like a just force going into it. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Man, I'm definitely gonna have to remove the suspension, I think. I hope it's not gonna be too much worse without the suspension. All right, so now I think I can fit up on top. So let's go ahead and move this up. Like, oh man, look at that. That is so good. All right, and bring it down. Oh man, we're drilling right into it. Oh, and then it's on a mound, so I can actually cradle the mound. Look at that. Oh, that is great. That is so great. In all 10 frames, it is amazing. All right, hold on. I wanna make these engines just a little bit stronger. Two notches each. All right, let's go ahead and do this one now. There we go, look at that, <laughs> it's just disappearing. It is disappearing underneath us. All right, this is pretty much working as intended. Even the pistons act as suspension in the middle there. That's great. Oh, all right, hold on, I forget what buttons are which. Oh, not all of them actually got uh, taken down, hold on. All right, there we go. All right, I think that worked pretty well. We'll drive forward, we'll pick those up as we drive over them, and then we'll go on to this next one right here. Just like that. I love seeing it fall right into it as it drills it into pieces. All right, so now we need to move this up like this, put this back down, and then I will go ahead and just cradle this one, just like that. All right, now we can turn it down and open up and then come down on all of this. And look at that, it's working, working great. This is awesome. I am really happy with this so far. I just don't like that it's laggy, kind of. So we're definitely gonna have to experiment with a non-suspension version, but I think that should work. Yeah, I feel like this is making way quicker work of this than it would have been just hammering it after trying to drill all these little pieces. All right, here we go. Gotta come down from the top of these ones. Oh! All right, I feel like I need to move the pistons up and down a little bit. Actually, can the up and down pistons, can they move any faster? All right, now it goes up and down much faster. All right, let's see if we can, oh, look at this. Ready, ready, watch this. Oh man, that looks so cool. All right, let's see how it handles it. All right, we'll open up now. Whoops, wrong button. 
And we'll come on down. There we go. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit too fast for the up and down. I don't know. All right, let's get this one now. Man, it makes quick work of them, I think. The only, one of the big issues I'm seeing, not big issue, but one of the minor issues I'm seeing is maybe I made them too, too much space in between. Cause the small pieces seem to get like picked up in between, but actually they still seem to get kind of damaged from behind too. Oh, all right, let's get these ones right underneath me here. There we go. All right, lift it up and collect everything. Just like that. So good. Oh, I need more ground clearance, maybe. I don't know. All right, come on. Oh, man. This is so satisfying now. All right, it should make pretty quick work of this one right here. Come on. Work your way through it. There we go. Yeah, I feel like there, there's a. I feel like the drills need to be a little bit better optimized because I feel like the drills are often they're drilling against it, but it's not getting the spark. Like it's not actually dealing damage that it should be a lot of the time, which is kind of annoying to deal with. All right, how much gas have we used so far? So when I left, before I left my mechanic station, I had four plus four. So the the last little tank, this had four in it. So I've used twenty. I've used forty three. I think. 43 fuel so far doing all of this most of the day pretty much yeah look at all this it's just like all on top of the hill though that's like the tough part is when they're on top of the hill all right well let's just move up the hill with my vehicle here i'll keep moving the pistons up and down as we get up on top like this there we go yeah that's what i'm talking about right there yeah, that's it. That's it. Come on. There we go. All right, that did pretty well. Oh, man, look at all these ones that fell down, too. All right, here we go. There we go. Yes. All right, it's starting to get sunset. So I'm just going to pick up the rods that I have. And since there's a bunch of just individual ones, I'm just going to go ahead and hammer those out of the way since it's probably not worth using all the energy on just like a single one like that all right i think i picked up pretty much everything so let's head on home and look at we out we actually almost filled up every single one all right so throughout that entire journey transferring all that weight uh we did use a decent amount of fuel unfortunately but um it's to be understood so oh we have uh 30 seconds and so i don't even have enough time to deal with this all of this right now but i'm gonna get this started and then we're gonna head over to defend our potatoes all right that should be good enough to start off with let's get over here how much ammo do i have on me uh plenty enough this is gonna be a low level raid because it's potatoes i'm even i'm even gonna stay outside we're gonna have them not attack the walls we're gonna have them go after me instead all right bring it on there it comes all right, here we go. There's that one, there's that one. Oh, this is a laggy raid with uh, with my vehicle over there. I need to put my vehicle on a lift. All right, now we need some more precision shots. There we go. Oh, and one more over there. All right, and I think that concludes our raid. How are the crops doing? It looks like they're all set. Let's go ahead and pick them all up. I need another ammo box over here. This ammo box is full. All right, so I'm planting another crop of potatoes just to get some more ammo. We can load up our scouting vehicle with ammo. We can load up our backup chest and our mechanic station with ammo. And we're just going to have spare ammo all over the place in case we have some crazy raids to deal with later. All right, everything is now here being refined from our expedition. I also will now give myself a dedicated warehouse key chest right there. There we go. Now we have nine warehouse keys. Oh my goodness. And now we have a whole nother backup of, uh, what's that? A thousand, a thousand ammo, I think, is, is in one small chest. And I can put another backup of a thousand ammo 
with this chest over at the potato farm. So there you have it. Our awesome drill machine actually worked kind of exactly as intended. I had a vision and I made it happen. So let me know what you guys thought about that and let me know what you guys wanna see in future episodes of Scrap Mechanic Survival. Now that we can finally mine a little bit more quicker, I'm definitely going to be starting to prepare to beef up the base a little bit. If we're going to have any more of those top level raids with three bosses, then I definitely want to start experimenting with uh, defenses that don't require just me. So yeah, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like that. And if you want to follow the whole series from the beginning, if you're just stopping in for whatever reason, then here's the entire survival playlist and some other videos you might be interested in on the end screen right here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.